How to Decrease Amniotic Fluid During Pregnancy Naturally Part 3 What Birth Defects Can Cause Polyhydromnios? Birth defects that affect a child's central nervous system can also lead to polyhydromnios. High fluid levels may also be related to fetal anemia or heart or kidney problems in the child. Maternal diabetes is an important risk factor for polyhydromnios. How much amniotic fluid is required for normal delivery? While in the womb, the baby floats in the amniotic fluid. The amount of amniotic fluid in pregnancy is greater at approximately 34 weeks, gestation, when it averages 800 milliliters. Around 600 milliliters of amniotic fluid surrounds the baby throughout its duration, 40 weeks gestation. Does walking reduce amniotic fluid? Get regular light exercise. You must train every day, walking also helps. Working regularly during pregnancy helps increase blood flow to the placenta and uterus, increasing the level of amniotic fluid in your body. How do they check amniotic fluid on ultrasound? An ultrasound procedure is used to determine the amount of amniotic fluid. The amniotic fluid index is measured by dividing the uterus into four imaginary quadrants. Lena nigra is used to divide the uterus into right and left parts. The navel acts as a bifurcation point for the upper and lower extremities. How can I reduce amniotic fluid in third trimester? Treating the disease will help reduce amniotic fluid levels. Amniocentesis is a procedure used to flush excess amniotic fluid from your body. This should be a last resort because it can cause premature labor and delivery. The doctor may prescribe endomethacin. What is the most common cause of polyhydromnios? Common causes of polyhydromnios include gestational diabetes, amniotic fluid with fetal abnormalities, fetal infection, and other rare causes. The diagnosis is obtained by ultrasound. What are the complications of polyhydromnios? With polyhydromnios, there is an increased risk of the following complications. Premature contractions and possibly prenatal delivery. Premature rupture of the membrane. Fetal failure, maternal respiratory compromise. Umbilical cord prolapse. Uterine atonement placental abruption subscribe our channel for future videos visit our website holisticmeaning.com for more informative articles